Okay, how's it going everybody? So today we got something super cool that we were supposed to get a few days ago, but FedEx really screwed up and they sent my stuff to the wrong place and they ended up calling me last night and said, okay, how can we fix this? And I said, get me my package ASAP. So they did. And it is the Assassin's Creed Mirage Collector's Edition. Now I pre-ordered this over a year ago and it finally came out. So let's go ahead and hurry up and jump right into this. We're gonna hold this up. It's got a pretty cool box, really cool design on the box. And I actually didn't know this, but a few of my subs have informed me because I'm pretty illiterate when it comes, or I'm pretty uh, knowledgeable when it comes to Assassin's Creed, that Assassin's Creed was actually meant to be, or Mirage was meant to be a DLC for Valhalla. And it ended up actually just becoming its own game. And actually the main protagonist of uh mirage is a large antagonist in valhalla so i thought that was pretty cool but let's go ahead and, and hop right into this i don't even remember what's in this because i pre-ordered it so long ago that i i honestly genuinely can't remember what is in this box so yeah um no tape or anything on the box which was kind of weird uh they said it was going to be a soft bundle and this doesn't look like a soft bundle to me. Usually soft bundles have everything piecemealed. But here we go. We got our steel book. You guys know how I am with collector's editions. This is one of the trifecta right here. A collector's edition should have a steel book case that comes with it. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. We've got uh, the soundtrack. An actual physical copy of the soundtrack. That's crazy. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Usually it just comes on a piece of paper and it says, go to this obscure website and download. But they actually sent me a physical copy of the soundtrack. And I was actually just talking about this yesterday while I was playing the game that I actually, actually think that this game has a really ripping soundtrack. So um, when you get a chance to play it, play that on loud. All right, so you guys know that when I do collector's editions, this right here is one of the other holy trifecta, and that is the art books. And the reason why I like the art books is because I really feel like it opens up the lore of the game a lot more, and it kind of expands on the universe that the game is building. So, plus, I love the way the art books smell. It really reminds me of when I was a kid, and I used to play Magic the Gathering, and when I would open up a fresh pack of cards, oh man, that smell, that smell. But here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, do this right here. Go through this, go through this, go through this. These are just some of the main characters and, you know, oh, my son wants to come and say hi. Hi, Bubba's. No, 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 not right now. Okay. Go ahead and put that down. Come on. Want to say hi? Yeah. Okay, you can say hi really quick, okay? Say hi. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna have to set this down because I'm gonna have to hold him at the same time now. And, oh, snap, we got a map of Baghdad. And what's really cool is it doesn't feel like normal paper. It feels like a, I mean, you can tell it's paper, but it's like a very thick, like, corrugated paper almost but here we go let's go ahead and open this up this is a little hard holding him it feels like a very sturdy map now i'm not too keen on this kind of stuff are we done say bye-bye bye. there we go so I, I i don't really worry about this stuff too much i do think it's a cool addition and if uh, a game does come with an art book. I, I do think it's cool that it, it comes with a map because when you're going through the art book, you can tell where everything is at and it really shows the whole world. But man, this material, actually, I really dig this map right here. Like you can tell it's paper, but it doesn't feel like like paper. Like you know how money, uh, it you know it's paper, but it doesn't like feel like paper. It's kind of like this. It's got like a, like a 3D feel to it almost. It's kind of insane, but yeah. So, I mean, for a map, that's actually really super cool. I dig that. Um, next thing is uh, just an empty 
little shelf thing, I guess. Yes, empty little shelf thing that everything came in. Now, let's go ahead and hop into the statue. Typical um, collector's edition packaging. And uh, I really dig this style of packaging because I feel like it really protects your investment when it's when it's bundled up like this. Not only is it protected by these tabs right here, these tabs that are they're almost like fittings that, that they like plug into each other and it snaps together, but then it's also taped as well. So if the thing falls, you know what I mean? It's got a lot of support. It would have to fall from an incredibly high height uh, to suffer any uh, damage or anything like that. And unfortunately, I forgot my knife, so I'm gonna have to use my fingernail that I need to cut, just like this right here. I was so excited that this finally showed up that I, I forgot to, ow, I pinched my finger. I forgot to properly get ready. So this is actually a button that comes with it. This isn't a part of the statue. It's an actual button. You guys know I dig me some buttons. So that's gonna go right on my National Metal Day uh, bandana. Um, the box is cool, but I, it's not cool enough to be like, hey, I'm gonna keep this. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. You can actually see, I don't know if you guys can see this cause I have it in low quality settings right now, but you can actually see the cloth material in the uh, hood piece right here. Um, there is uh, my pendant right there. So that's what it's supposed to, to look like right here. There's a little bro, this is big bro. So that, that's kind of cool. Like if you ever wanted to do some cosplay uh, type stuff, uh, the sword does not come out. It is stuck in there and I'm not going to play with that. But I do think it's cool how he has the assassin's dagger coming out. Uh, I mean, for a collector's edition statue, it's pretty damn detailed. You know what I mean? You can like really see the buckles and the buttons in his boots and all that. And I, I think it's really, really uh, cool. Um, like I said, I'm not really too familiar with the Assassin's Creed universe. It's not something that I, I ever dramatically dove into. But I've been playing Mirage lately. And I'm not going to lie, I've been having a lot of fun with the game. Uh, it's been very impressive. And uh, I, I like the fact that I, I you know, I, I've been able to get in and easily adapt it's got some sort of like like a, a bit of dark souls feels to it and uh you know it, it just it it feels good you know with the dodging and, and all that plus the story is really good too it doesn't feel like you're just thrown into some cheap uh cheap uh knockoff story or, or you know a story that's been bled to death so many times usually when you have a game like assassin's creed that has multiple 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 entries it starts to get to a point where it's very bland and boring and there have only been a few franchises that have been able to pull off stuff like that you know games like final fantasy and stuff being one of them uh you know where they can bring you like a fresh new entry every single time and i i feel the assassin's creed is doing that very well i mean their last uh what three titles have been you know major worldwide successes uh mirage valhalla origins and then um Oh, what's the other one? Uh, I can't remember the other one, but, you know, very, very, uh, very adaptable uh, series right there. So we're definitely going to probably put this up. I, I, I dig the whole assassin look. You know, I always have. 
I, I've always been like, man, that looks like some really cool stuff to get into. And the outfit itself looks amazing. But I just, I never got the time to put in. So I'm going to have to give this uh, a, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to give this an 8 out of 12. The reason being is because, uh, first of all, it didn't come with the game. This is the soft bundle. The game and the collector's edition come separately. I already don't like that. I dislike soft bundles in a major way, mainly because I've been screwed over several times, Destiny 2 being the biggest one. Uh, when they came out with the expansion for The Stranger, you were supposed to get this big, huge collector's edition. And because it came in a soft bundle, my entire collector, collector's edition got piecemealed out and sold off. I basically got screwed out of my collector's edition. So I don't like it when companies do that. I feel like it's uh, sheer laziness on, on their part. I mean, it doesn't really take much to get a box and, you know, throw some stuff together. Uh, even this right here, it came with the steelbook, but no game. The game, for whatever reason, is, is separate. So uh, it's a little irritating. Uh, it has all the hallmarks for me for a good collector's edition though, you know, cool looking statue. The statue does feel pretty flimsy though. I feel like if my cat were to knock it off, it would shatter apart if it hit the ground. Uh, I'm not saying it's low quality or anything like that. I'm just saying that there are a lot of narrow points on the statue that make it feel very fragile. And I, me being a father and having young children around, I really don't like that either because I, I know my kids are gonna do some wild stuff and it makes me fear for things like this because I'm like, am I gonna come home one day and find this in pieces all over the ground? Or my two oldest sons did that with my Horizon uh, Zero Dawn Collector's Edition where they went and they broke all of uh, Aloy's bows and arrows and stuff off of her and they were like pretending to shoot each other around the house with them. Luckily, I was able to find every little tiny piece and crazy glue it all back together. But it was just a pain in the ass that my two-year-old can just grab it and snap everything right off. You know what I mean? Most of, out, uh, uh, most of us out here have kids. And um, those of you guys that have young kids know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, the price wasn't bad. I think it was like $160 out the door with taxes and everything for the collector's edition but once again if i'm paying 160 dollars for a collector's edition i better get the whole damn thing and not piecemealed out you know i i really dislike that in a big way and if they were going to do that i think they should have dropped the price a little bit because uh to me a, a, a decent collector's edition should cost about 150 dollars including the game you know what i mean this isn't um, the, the most crazy extravagant statue I've ever received. Is it cool? Yes. But at the same time, I've paid the same amount for collector's editions that were way better. Sekiro being one of them. So, um, just, you know, I'm not telling everybody to feel that way. That's just my personal opinion. And, uh, would I still highly recommend it? Honestly, only to the hardcore Assassin's Creed fans. Um, honestly, if I, if I wasn't doing this for the channel, I probably would have never got the collector's edition of this game. Uh, I mainly just doing it for you guys uh, because I, I want you guys to be able to see the product before you go out and spend that kind of money on it. And uh, I mean, if you're a diehard fan, it is a must. But if you're somebody that's like, I played Valhalla and that's it, I would highly suggest passing on it just because uh, it's not going to be something that you're going to appreciate like a diehard fan will. You know what I mean? I would save your money for something that you're really going to love and put your heart into. Um, like whatever, you know, me, it's from Soft and Final Fantasy. I, I'll dump all my money into the collector's editions of those games. I mean, you guys can see my, uh, what my armored core right here. So... You know, I've always got to get the collectors of all those games. I've got my Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition sitting right over there. I've got my Sekiro Collector's Edition and my Elden Ring Collector's Edition sitting right over here. You know, I'm waiting on the Dark Souls 3. It's taken a little bit, but it is what it is. So, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you got something cool out of it. And, uh, you know, if you guys 
did get something cool out of it. If you hit like and subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, if not, you know, I hope to see you and get you on the next one. So with that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome and safe day. Peace.